want you back in my kitchen. You let me back in. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do some cooking because I know how much you love spices and how much you love Indian food in particular. Yeah. So I thought we'd make some lamb kebabs. That's good. Um, I'm going to do that with some avocado yogurt, spiced avocado yogurt. All right. And we're going to make some uh, vegetable pagoda with some um, courgettes. How does that sound? That sounds awesome. I hope there's this microphone picking up my stomach rumbling. I hope it isn't. So it <laughs> sounds delicious. It sounds really good. I keep forgetting you're left handed, aren't you? I am a lefty. Because so... it ruined everything. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you're very creative, though, so they say, left handies. You're supposed to be, but there's also quite a lot of pressure on left handed people to be creative. It's like, what if you're not? <laughs> what if you just have a regular brain, but you just happen to be left-handed? It's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Tell me about when you were growing up. What was food like at home? Well, like, my favourite food, it was like turkey Twizzlers, crispy pancakes, like, out of the freezer <laughs> into the oven. That was like my favourite foods. But it wasn't until, you know, I got to my early 20s, I started making a little bit of money. I started going out to restaurants and maybe travelling a little bit. I started really tying together food with memories and you know like different cultures and stuff it didn't yeah. come to much much later on now what do you want to do in terms of chili now i like i know you like spice I like a bit of heat that's right i don't like crazy heat like i've never been one of those people <laughs> who you know when like I want it really hot. when they have restaurants i have i don't know the hottest curry in the world or yeah, something yeah. i've never been into that i've never thought oh i'd like to quite like to try that no enough Enough heat that you get uh, you get the impression. You get a warmth. Yes. See, with Indian food, I always say to people, you need to know that you've had some Indian food to eat. Mm -hmm. So you need to have that warmth on your palate. But it's not about blowing your head off. Right. What are these little babies? Is that the Fengarik? Go on, tell me so I sound clever and we can edit it so I sound... Cumin seeds! Yay! Second time Cumin lucky. seeds. <laughs> right, so we're going to crush some of those in here. So one of my... Favourite food memories is uh, I went to Antigua for my cousin's wedding a few years ago. Right. And me and my sister went lobster fishing oh, with, uh, with her new husband. And uh, we probably, it probably took about an hour to catch just one lobster. <laughs> but as soon as we caught it, we had a little barbecue right there on the beach. It was like lobster straight in, really simple sauce, just like butter and a few other spices. And it was oh. the best meal I think I've ever had. It's that incredible. Like, when, when you get produce that fresh, you don't need to do anything to it. Right. It's really simple. The iconic spice blend of the north of India is... Masala garam. Garam masala. Garam masala. I was trying Love to have a wait. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So we're going to sprinkle that in now. We've got clean hands, we've washed already, so what I want you to do is one hand, get in there and really just squidge that all together, mix it all up so that all of the flavours combine. Bit. Absolutely, don't be shy, really give it a good old bash. So squidge it as you, as you go because that's going to get rid of all the cracks. So you've been on a bit of a culinary adventure these last few months. I really have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really have. So tell us, how did that all come about? So, all right, this it's actually a little bit of a long story, okay? I'll try and make it short. <laughs> I don't know how long you've got. Uh, this thing happened to me last year when I was at a theme park. Someone ran up to me as I was leaving in the, in the car park and said, they said, all right, DJ Neville, all right? <laughs> and it shouldn't upset me, but it does, because I feel like I've been doing radio for ages, all right? People should know who I am. I do not know who I am. So I said to my manager, I was like, do you think I should get a little bit famous? Like, just a little bit. Not a lot. I don't want to be, like, proper famous. Just a little bit. And she was like, all right, well, what sort of shows do you want to do? And I went, oh, Mastermind. So we did that. I did Mastermind. I came last. All right. Just for another video. Um, and then I said, oh, I want to do a show where there's some sort of skin involved, not just sitting around a jungle or a house, like, arguing with other people. And... Almost joking, we suggested MasterChef because, you know, it's a, it's a national institution, yeah. it's got this amazing heritage and well, they're not going to want me, are they? They're going <laughs> to want like proper famous people to do it. So we put a bid in and they kind of came back. I don't know if it's that somebody cancelled last minute <laughs> and they did a little they replacement. They had a little space, did they? But yeah, they turned around and went, all right, go on then, uh, we'll, we'll have you. And there was that initial oh my goodness, this is amazing, I've always wanted to do this, but then it's like, ah, everyone's going to see me cook and make judgments. So uh, <laughs> it was, it was it was a lot, a lot of fun to do, but also one of the most stressful situations I think I've ever been in. Oh my God. You know, what were your, what were your highlights? There's opportunities that I got to go to 
some amazing kitchens and work with these incredible chefs. And they show you firsthand how to, to make stuff and show you little tips and little secrets. A bit like now. Right, exactly, <laughs> like, exactly <laughs> like now. There was two different ways I could do MasterChef. I could do it how I normally do things, which is to try and show up on the day and blag my way through it. <laughs> <laughs> or to try and do it properly and, you know, take it seriously and practice and ask questions and I feel like I did it the right way. Oh, well done. So you, you did actually practice and put a bit of effort in beforehand? I, I did a lot of practice beforehand, yeah. yeah. And because the one thing I wanted to do is go on the show and do as well as I could. You want to know what flavours work with what and, you know, how to do something a little bit different, not just the same things that everybody else yeah. is doing. Yeah. Is there a lady in your life that you've been impressing with your cooking? There is my poor girlfriend has had to put up. She's basically been my guinea pig for <laughs> the last couple of months. There's been a lot of, here, taste this. What do you think of this? What does it need more of? What does it need less of? Oh, bless Sir, but, but she's been very supportive, she's been I take it. Super supportive. She we're just she's just as stunned as everybody else about <laughs> me getting on the show in the first place. So. Uh -huh. it's, I mean it's such an doing. unnatural situation to cook in because you usually get maybe an hour and 20 minutes to do two different courses, and there's that feeling of if you mess up, that's it. That like you're you can't you can't decide pressure, to start all over though, again. It really is is, is uh I can imagine it's meant to so, you want the skin yeah, and everything? So, yeah, mm. because look, what we're trying to do is we're going to get them nice and long. Mm. What did your friends think? There was, half of my friends were, didn't really believe that I was doing it, thought it was a wind up or something like that. Now there's pressure after I've done it. I feel like I can't just cook for my friends just on a, oh, hey, come around for something to eat. They're going to be here's thinking, a burger. Oh, oh, he's, a the, he's the <laughs> master chef. It's going to be really good. They'll be, would they be expecting a menu when they show up at the door? And ah, amazing. See, but there you go. You can, you can live up to their expectations and you can, you know, wow them with your newfound culinary skills. I'll definitely put the garam masala in. Definitely. And that's like the secret ingredient. To everything. To everything. To life. Even <laughs> I even put garam masala in my roast potatoes. Really? So All right, good. I'm stealing that. I'm definitely <laughs> doing that now. Freestyling in the turmeric oh, for like a bit of it. colour. I like it. Look, I'm always paranoid about using too much salt. A bit more. So bold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you have a go. Please okay. don't put your fingers in the oil. <laughs> okay. Let me get it close. Yeah, these are the sort of thing, if you were to make, yeah. They look more impressive than they are, if that makes yep. sense. No, you know, it totally looks like you spent agree. ages and ages making it. I have. <laughs> sure you have. <laughs> sure you have, Harry. Wouldn't have thought mint and, uh, oh, what am I talking about? Mint sauce and lamb. I was about to say, I wouldn't have put mint and lamb together, <laughs> apart from that really famous combination that everyone knows about. Is that another edit? No, 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 you keep that in. I've said way worse things. <laughs> So into that, so put, yep, yeah, avocado goes straight in. So the last time I cooked with you, Dev, I showed you my avocado tree. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this massive avocado it's tree. It's a very impressive avocado tree. And yes, I did copy you and go home and try to start my own avocado tree, but it takes forever. <laughs> I thought, all right, yeah, two weeks, pop the seed in. We have an avocados by the end of summer. <laughs> no, it takes forever. And look at that. Lovely really colour. Nice. You're so much tidier than I am. Honestly, if this was me at home, by now, there'd be piles of stuff all over the place. <laughs> stuff spilt on the floor. Right. And you don't put any oil or anything. No just oil, straight, straight on. on. So this is called a dava, uh -huh. this pan. It's a dava and we use it to make our rotis every day. Oh, look, it's all puffing up. Check it out. What do you reckon, Dev? Wow. Do that on MasterChef? That's, <laughs> I no? wish I had on now. <laughs> There we go. Ooh. Oh no. Dropped it. <laughs> my roti. I think the chances are very high. I'm going 100% puff. Yes. Do you? Okay. <gasps> there is puff. Yes. <laughs> Check it out. It's very satisfying. It is, isn't it? <laughs> There's something quite nice about it. It's the best bit. <laughs> best bit of cooking. Actually. Cool. So what do you reckon? You've uh, done all right. All right. I'm, quite, I'm quite impressed with your work. If if I had a little dinner party, a little get together, and I served this, I reckon it'd be a hit. I reckon it'd go down. I might have friends for life. Nice. Instead of the fickle friends I currently have. <laughs> right, shall we dig in? Yeah, Here show me how to do this. Would it be greedy to put another kebab in there? You so go for it. Go for your life. Just, I just want to make sure, you know, that but I'm you really, get the full no, experience. Really appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, okay, a bit more sauce. Mmm, there's so much going on. It's like fresh, it's got a little bit of heat, a little bit of kick. Meat is really, really tender. Oh, it's delicious. There's a lot going on. The last time we've done cooking together, something I've never really experienced before is that those layers. Mm -hmm. It starts off one way and it ends completely different. That's really good. That's what Indian food is all about, mm -hmm. you know. And I come back to that point that we made at the beginning is, it's not about blowing your head off. Mm -mm. It's not about putting loads of chilli in mm. there. Um, it's about flavour and, and getting, you know, that hit of spice or getting that warmth, and then you get a bit of chilli, then you get a bit of a tang, mm -hmm. and it's all of those different things going on in your mouth all at the same time. This would have got me through a couple of rounds. Really? 100%, definitely. Mm -hmm. Nice. This would have been a pizza. All right. Oh, that yeah. is intense. Wow. I'm almost getting out of breath. <laughs> you know, that is delicious. You're getting the sweat on. Mm. <laughs> it tastes really authentic as well. Just like the look of it and the colours on the inside. Oh, so we have to wait. <laughs> I deliberately held off lunch because I knew I was coming here. That was nice. Worth it. Well, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. It's always a pleasure to have you in my kitchen Thank you, and Abby. cook with you. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, so hopefully we'll do it again. Thank you. Invite um, me back soon. Yes. We'll do. The sooner the better. Thank you, Harry. Oh, pleasure. I'm just going to have another one. Go just on, to make dig sure. in. For more foodie fun, check out my social channels, download my app, and of course, subscribe to me here on YouTube.